I've been in a long layoff, six, seven, eight months. So the main thing is to get back in the gym, keep training, um, try to get better in shape, and uh, to move on. You know, like I said, that would be a great opportunity if, if um, Al Heyman could talk to Eddie Hearns or my team, you know. So I think that will be a, an exciting fight. I got some rounds in. I'll, if they give me the fight, I'll go straight to the gym and start working out right now, like right now, and um, get ready for that fight at June 1st. Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. By calling out Anthony Joshua last Saturday, did Andy Ruiz actually throw a Hail Mary in leapfrog over Michael Hunter as the number one replacement for Big Baby Miller on June 1st? Well, Andy Ruiz thinks so. He's reported that he is going to go into negotiations with Eddie Hearn on Tuesday for a possible fight. The video that I posted about Michael Hunter replacing Gerald Miller was liked by, I believe, Michael Hunter's manager. So he, it, it makes you think he's still in the running. But you never know. Now, think about this. Andy Ruiz just fought this past Saturday. And he admitted that he hadn't fought in like six or seven or eight months. And that he's still out of shape and he still needs to get in shape. And then he would only have five weeks for a training camp to have a legitimate shot at Anthony Joshua and defeat him. It seems like it's stacked against him. It seems like the deck is stacked against him. And it's been reported that Michael Hunter dropped him, Andy Reese, four times and stopped him in the amateurs. So I'm pretty sure my, uh, Michael Hunter is like, why Andy Ruiz? But I digress. I think that we can all agree on this at least. If it's not Deontay Wilder, if it's not Tyson Fury, if it's not Delian White, or if it's not Luis Ortiz, do we really care who Anthony Joshua faces on June 1st? Let me know what you think. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.